So you want to become a game developer in 2024, here are 5 tools to get you started on your journey. Hi, I'm Cogworks, an indie game developer and I want to help you out on your journey by providing some knowledge on the tools mainly used for game development. So let's get started with the first one. The first one being the game engine. The game engine is crucial for game creation. Combining creative elements like art, music and sound effects into final product. The main game engines used today are Unity, Unreal and Godot. Unity is a versatile engine for both 2D and 3D projects. It boasts a large community but recent pricing changes have raised concerns about its future stability. Unreal Engine, known for impressive graphics, is ideal for creating visually stunning 3D worlds. However, it lacks support for 2D games and it can be quite resource intensive. And Godot, a a newer, lightweight and open source engine, which is gaining popularity with each day. While 3D support isn't as robust as Unity or Unreal, ongoing efforts aim to enhance its capabilities. It's promising choice, especially considering it's entirely free, it is really light in download size. Alright, now on to your 3D art tool. If you want to create beautiful 3D interactive worlds, then you need a 3D tool. And the one that I recommend is Blender. Blender is a 3D art tool that allows you to model, texture paint and shade whatever object you want. It is compatible with all of the pre-mentioned game engines and is a great tool that is slowly but surely becoming the main 3D tool in the game development industry. Now on to your 2D art tool. Whether you want to create beautiful high definition paintings or characters, or you want to kick back and enjoy creating pixel art, Photoshop is your main choice. And whilst being a paid tool, it is worth every dollar considering with all the power that this tool has. And it is also integrated really well with Unity. So any files that you are currently working on Photoshop can be updated in real time in Unity. Now obviously, to create a game we have to use code for it. And the best tool for this in my opinion is Visual Studio. Or Visual Studio Code which is a newer version. Both of these are IDE that can be used to write and execute code and are nice additions to your workflow. Now these aren't really necessary if you will be using Unreal Engine Blueprint, which is a much easier and visual way to write code without having to write code or if you're using Godot's built-in scripts editor. But if you're using Unity, then the pre-mentioned tools are great tools to have in hand when creating your game. Both of these tools are compatible with Unity's code snippets and they help you out when writing the code for your game by providing insights and tips on the code that you're using. Finally, we have music and sound effects. Now I put two tools into this part because they're kind of related profession-wise. And the tools we have on deck are Audacity, which is a free and open source sound effect editing tool which allows you to record, edit and export your sound effects into many different audio files. And it is fairly easy to learn. And then we have FL Studio, which is a tool that allows you to create musical compositions to fit the needs of your game. Whilst having an user-friendly interface, it also has a broad set of features, allowing you to create whatever type of musical soundtrack you want. And as a bonus, if you are using Apple products, Logic Pro X might be a better fit for you. With that said, thank you for watching this video. I hope I helped giving you an idea of the tools that you can use to start creating your own games. And if I did, don't forget to hit that like button. Have a good one.